I told y'all, I told y'all months ago, we saw this coming from a mile away. Not really. Little Nightmares 3 has been announced at Gamescom. As always, Little Nightmares 2 was also announced during Gamescom. Let's watch it together. Holy shizzle, bro. It doesn't even feel real because, you know, we've been Bandai Namco. How you doing? Please don't strike this video. There he is. We don't know who that is. A pro. Super massive games. Well, I told you. I told you Tarzan Studios ain't working. It's gonna be super massive game. Who are these characters, bro? A new villain. Okay. That is 100% not Mono in 6. Wow, you saw that? New mechanics, but still has the same feeling. You hear the... You hear the... You hear, you hear the track in the background? Oh, they still got the same assets. That's amazing. It still feels like a Little Nightmares 2 expansion <laughs> from the looks of it. Damn, you hear this in the background? Oh my god. What is this? Batman or Kamisawa and Scare Girl boss fight? Search it up on YouTube. Amazing. Oh. Seriously, who that is? Come on. That is just a broken mirror. Okay, a dumpster. That's. Okay, man, okay, man. Look at this. Look at this. Are we gonna... <laughs> Are we gonna brush past the fact that we're hearing <laughs> freaking screams in the background? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It means something to me, man. Oh my god. Holy moly. Off the bat, Tarzu Studios, we've been new that they're out. They have moved on, they're working on their own projects, right? And Supermassive Games, which I told you all months ago that one of the reasons Supermassive Games got involved with the Enhanced Edition for Little Nightmares 2 was to get their feet into this, you know, world of Little Nightmare and to make a future Little Nightmare game. But a lot of you were like, this guy's smoking, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, here we are. So, if you go to the official page, you can see the artwork for it, the mirror, there's Carnival, there's you know, dumpster, truck, fire, garbage, whatever. There is so much going on. We'll have separate videos talking about theories and whatnot. But let's look at the quick thing. First things first, release date. Release date is 2024, so it's not later this year. Would have been great. We don't know when in 2024 exactly, but we know it's going to be 2024 next year. Platforms, it's going to be on Nintendo Switch, PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and Xbox One. Developers, of course, Supermassive Games. And now, the most important point in all of The Little Nightmares 3 is that it features not just a single player, but two players. How is that going to work? We're going to come back to it in just a second, but let's look at its overview. It says, embark on a new adventure in the unique world of Little Nightmares. Already, this gives us an idea that this is going to be a new entry in the franchise, not a sequel or a prequel, but just a different story in the universe of Little Nightmares, exactly how we predicted here on the channel a couple months ago. In Little Nightmares 3, you follow the journey of Lo and Alone as they search for a path that could lead them out of nowhere. So, nowhere is the location name, Lo and Alone are the characters. Trapped within the spiral, a cluster of disturbing places. Now, we're calling this spiral like it's not a and like a normal word spiral, it's literal name that is given to this. A cluster of disturbing places, the two friends will have to work together to survive in a dangerous world full of delusions and escape the grasp of an even greater threat lurking in the shadows. For the first time in the franchise, face your childhood fears together with a friend using online co-op or solo with an AI companion. There you go, that has been confirmed. Ladies and gentlemen, do whatever you want with that information. Face your childhood fears together. Choose from two brand new characters, each equipped with their own iconic items. Play solo with an AI or with your friends using online co-op and work together to solve integrated puzzles and defend yourself against smaller enemies. Navigate through a brand new world of delusions. Embark on an adventure through the spiral, a cluster of dystopian lands. Discover places as diverse as the mysterious desert of Necropolis, an unsettling funfair, a gloomy factory, and who knows what else. Run away from a new cast of foes ranging from ominous beetles to a giant baby, which I... <laughs> that, that whole area looks like Batman Arkham Asylum Scarecrow boss fight. Just, just look it up, man. And so many more. Follow the journey of Lo and Alone. 
meet Lo and Alone and learn about the boy in the raven mask and the girl with pigtails. Guide the two friends through a menacing world as they search for a way out of nowhere. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Little Nightmares 3. So you're not playing a 6, you're not playing as Mono, you're not playing sequel prequel. You're playing a game that is based and happening in Little Nightmares universe. Why am I saying that this feels more like an expansion? It's because Tarja Studios, they completed 6 and Mono's story and then they moved on. This is Supermassive Games. It's now their territory, now their turf. So they're handling it the way they see fit now and they got the thumbs up from Bandai Namco and we know Supermassive Games can handle the gameplay and whatnot and they have been busy busy with the Dark Pictures Anthology series and now this and I trust Supermassive Games because they've you know worked on the online and local co-op for their Dark Pictures Anthology games so I'm, I know for a fact that they will do it better here when Little Nightmares 2 was announced we already assumed it's gonna be co-op but it wasn't. So they're finally gonna use the feature, make the feature available. A feature that was expected from previous games. So we'll see what's up. I'll see you guys in the next video talking about the story of Little Nightmares 3. It's gonna be so hype over the coming months. I'm so happy.